Hey, it's Jim here from Janku, and today I want to take a look at the Blender program. So I have this installed on my computer, and this is a 3D modeling program that's really powerful. Now, I have version 2.79 currently installed, and there's actually a new version, 2.8, and that has a completely redesigned interface. So I actually want to take a look at installing that version. But the first thing I want to do here is I actually want to come and I want to uninstall the version I'm using currently. So if I go to my terminal here, and I bump this up, I can paste this command. So I'm going to sudo app get remove the Blender program here. I'm going to run that and just pop in my password and then let that run. And then it's going to ask me if I want to continue freeing up this disk space. I'm going to say yes. Okay, so that ran. And now if we look over here, we have Blender here, but let's close out of this and we search for Blender here, well, it still appears. Okay, we can try a couple different things. Let's just come here and let's try removing this as a snap package. It looks like that isn't what we installed it as. So let's try to do a sudo apt purge of Blender. That didn't work. So let's try to apt purge auto remove blender let's come back let's list do we have config blender okay so it looks like we installed blender over in this blender 279 folder. Okay, so we could probably just delete this folder. Let's just for now, let's grab this and let's move this folder completely over to, let's go to the end of here. Let's move this to the desktop. Okay, so that's moved. Is this going to now have trouble? Let's try to find Blender and start Blender. Okay, that no longer starts, so that's good. Still thinks it has it. Okay, our software's updated, that's great. So Blender is no longer available. Hmm, okay, let's take a look here. So we have our Blender program here. Okay. We can still find Blender in our application list, but we can't actually click it to start it. So if we come in here and we look at, let's list the files in our applications, we probably have a Blender. So we have this Blender desktop. Okay, so this is where it is saying where our location of our Application is so in our home directory, it's looking for that Blender 279 directory that I just moved to our desktop. So if we get rid of this, we should be able to get rid of this finding of Blender in our system. So let's just grab this. For now, I'm just going to move this to our desktop as well so we have access to it if we need it. So I move this to the desktop. Okay, great. So now if we come in here, let's come back, look for Blender, so this is still here. Let's, it's on our desktop, okay, that's fine. Let's just take a look right here. Okay, that's not a location. Then let's just also look here. Okay, what do we have here? Do we have anything about Blender here? No, okay, so I think this is okay now. So I think if we restart our system, it will no longer recognize this. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, so I'm back here after the restart. And if I come up to my launcher here now, and I look through my applications, I search for Blender, we no longer see it. So that's great. So now we've completely removed that. So just to recap, we had this installed at a custom location. So if we looked at our terminal, and let me just increase the size here. Uh, in our home directory here, we had a 
Blender folder that no longer exists because we actually moved that folder to our home page. And then we actually also had a file called the blender.desktop that sat in our application. So if we looked inside of our, I think it was in our dot local share applications folder. So we had a, a blender.desktop in here, which gave instructions to where the program was installed in a custom location. So we've moved both of those to our, our home or our desktop here rather. And then I restarted my computer. So no longer we're seeing this blender application when we search in our, in our application here. So that's great. So now we can, now that we have blender 2.7 uninstalled, we can go to our software center here. So let's go to software and let's just install the new version of blender through the software center. So let's go and look for blender and let's grab this top one here. And you can see that this is Blender 281. So let's come up and let's install this. Okay, now that Blender's installed, I'm gonna press launch. It's going to launch the program over here. I'm gonna drag this icon up to lock it to my launcher. And you see that we have the new version of Blender. So this is great. So we have version 281, it says. We can get out of that. And it has a completely redesigned interface. This looks a lot more modern than the previous version looked. So that's all I'm gonna go over in this video. I just wanted to go over uninstalling the old version and installing the new version. In future tutorials, we'll take a look at this program and how to use it. All right, thanks for watching.